Hey, hi! Welcome back to the series of Functional Safety Sessions. I am Tota Krishna Hema, your Functional Safety Expert. So today we would like to discuss about hardware safety metrics in detail. So what is functional safety failure? So functional safety failures are basically classified as systematic failures and random failures. So uh, again, systematic failures are further classified as design errors and tool errors. So random failures are caused due to hardware errors and software errors. So functional safety mainly focuses on minimizing systematic failures and safeguarding against random failures or it will try to prevent random failures so today's focus is completely on random failures how we are gonna prevent it how can we prevent random failure is to by establishing a safety mechanism in place so what exactly a safety mechanism is i try to get all the definitions available in the internet but however so as i said before like it is it is to prevent random failures okay and safety mechanisms are for prevention of faults that leads to failures safety mechanisms detect faults and correct their effects safety mechanism control failures safety mechanism is a technical solution which typically prevent faults to become a single point failure these are the set of definitions which are provided in the internet so what exactly like what type of hardware falls we get and its effects on devices so uh, the first thing is permanent damage or permanent ca damage causing falls or permanent falls okay and the example here is stuck at falls so there is we have to stuck at uh, it's like the device will stuck at that that particular fault okay and single event latch up is an example for it it's a high current low voltage latch up caused by single event upset can permanently damage the component or device so transient falls are the temporary falls like which as example is big flip falls that is single event upset is a big flip in a memory element of a semiconductor device which can cause failures but not damage to hardware so this is a temporary failure or the fault and the third one is intermittent so hardware safety mechanism here when you look at this particular diagram so you can see that an input is there and an output and an output is there uh, and in between we have a safety uh, related function so in that we have activate and propagate and we have a safety mechanism and then detection mechanism and a correction mechanism which is set so the main purpose of safety mechanism is to detect uh, the fault and to correct the fault and to get a proper output at the end the correct output at the end so here there are two different things here that is alarm and output so alarm when it is green here it is marked as red but when it is marked in green it is inactive that means alarm is not ringing okay and when it is red then it is active alarm and in case of output output protected here you can say green so green is a correct output and red indicates a wrong output so and again like the here you have of activate and here is a fault okay occurred in the middle of in the middle of this safety related function so hardware safety mechanisms fault in safety related functions can cause wrong output which can be detected by detectors like alarms led indicators etc the alarm will be de will detect the fault the sm or the safety mechanism which is set up should correct the output safe faults safe faults in the name itself it is like these faults are safe and it cannot lead to a failure of the safety related function so faults which cannot cause failures that is it cannot impact the design function or it cannot violate a safety goal we need to determine safety for safety faults or the number of safety faults to improve our metrics they can be a lot safe lot of safe faults in our 
hardware examples are it's like you know uh, when we are dealing with non safety critical things okay for examples like design parts that does not impact on the safety goal states uh, that never that is never used in safety operation mode test logic and uh, uh in case of realistic environment it is it is but the test law it during testing test logic and uh, the performance impact only like uh, the things which can impact on performance only and the def default debug mode disabled for static ic operation modes internal registers etc so these are all the safe faults which can occur in these things So here, if you see the diagram, there is an input, there is an output. Even though there is a fault in between happened in the safe, safety related function, there is a green or un, there is a good output or the expected outcome came from the system. So what about single point fail fault? So uh, these faults are that affect the output. If these faults are without safety mechanisms. So these are all. dangerous faults like which causes uh, a violation in the safety goal and single for single single point faults are unprotected safety related functions here you can see like you know there is no safety mechanism set up for this faults so what about residual faults see this is the main difference between single point fault and the residual fault is nothing but that is a safety mechanism established but this particular fault escaped the safety mechanism so faults that escape the effect escape and affect the affect the output with safety mechanism uh, it escapes from the safety mechanism residual faults compromise protected um safety related function so here you can see like you know this fault this fault occurred inside the safety related function uh, it is not detected by the safety mechanism it is not corrected by the safety mechanism which led to and the alarm is also not uh, detected so it led to an out uh, an uh, a wrong output coming to multi point faults so the first category of multi point fault is detected the second one is perceived and the third one is latent so first detected is like it can uh it can violate safety goal but are observed by a safety mechanism so that means it got detected and corrected by a safety mechanism so uh two or more safe multiple multi point or two or more which is multiple multi point faults at the same time may cause a failure uh in this below case it did not cause failure on its own since fault is detected and corrected by a safety mechanism so what about perceived perceived multi point failure is two or more multi point faults together may cause failure so here in this particular example there is a fault in safety related function and there is a fault in safety mechanism too so these two faults are not detected by the safety mechanism which is set up and it is it led to in correction or the non correction of safety uh, of the output so which led to a wrong output what about the third classification of multi point faults that is latent fault so latent fault latent fault is a special class of uh, of multi point fault it is a permanent fault okay it is it will be there on the system it is currently not causing any effect or any wrong output it is not causing okay here it is an example of the safety mechanism uh, which is set up in the latent fault so there is a fault but it is not detected and not corrected but it is it is there in the system it is uh, it is not causing any wrong output Uh, so here is another scenario for the latent fault like here we have a fault in the safety related function and it is detect it is not detected and uh, it is not corrected uh, not detected since it is not corrected and uh, which caused anyhow this is not impacting the output right now so it is hidden it can cause a failure in 
when there is an additional function is added to the safety related function is added to the existing uh, uh, system then it may lead to the failure so it is very important to uh, focus on this latent fault it's like to identify these kind of latent fault which may cause a failure in the long term usage or in addition of any of the functions in the system so uh, this is like this is the example of the latent latent fault so these are all the metrics so single point fault metric so i might have placed immediately after single point fault definition but you need to understand all other fault uh, types as well so that is the reason i have mentioned at the last single point fault metric is it is reflecting the effectiveness of safety architecture to protect from individual faults high spfm indicates there are many safe faults as i said during safe faults like we need to count how many safe faults are there in the there in the uh, there in the system and a residual uh, a few residual or a very little residual faults and effective residual faults are escaping are the escaping faults from the uh, safety mechanism and effective safety mechanism is in place that means high spfm so low spfm indicates there are many single point faults that means there is no safety mechanism set up for those faults and comma unprotected functions so there are un unprotected functions so uh, here there is a formula that is spfm is equal to 1 minus a sigma that is summation of uh, lambda is failure rate failure rate of single point fault plus uh, failure rate of residual fault by sum of all failure rates so what about latent fault metric latent multi point fault metric uh, or lfm lfm is reflecting the effectiveness of safety architecture to protect from multi point faults there is spfm indicates is to protect from single point faults here it is multi point faults okay and high lfm indicates there are many safety safe faults many single point or residual faults and many detected multi point faults in place so latent fault metric is L lfm is equal to 1 minus sigma lambda mpf latent that is multi point fault latent or lambda latent by sigma lambda is failure rate minus la failure rate of spf that is single point fault minus uh, lambda rate of that is failure rate of a residual fault pmhf is probability metric for random hardware failure so pmhf equal to sigma that is summation of uh, lambda spf plus sigma lambda rf plus sigma um, lambda mpf latent so that is nothing but sum of sum of this thing so if you see pmhf is a uh, unit is number so the outcome will be the number as a uh, if you see here this slp slc sld uh, have uh, the goal values of this particular matrix pmhf and spmf sorry spfm and lfm matrix are like this so if you like this concept click on the like button if you want for the more automotive videos subscribe to my channel thank you